Last Friday, members of the Spanish Club set up an altar to celebrate the Day of the Dead, and students and staff can take part in this powerful tradition. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Lucy Williamson. And I'm Alex Benson, and we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Cecina will host the second of two vaccine clinics today from 3 to 6 p.m. Thanks to a partnership with Franciscan Health, the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine and Pfizer booster will be provided here at Cecina. All East Deanery parishioners, students, family members, and staff members are welcome to take advantage of this opportunity. Congrats to freshman Samantha Manley for winning the high school category in the Irvington Halloween Festival's writing contest. Samantha wrote a short story called The Unknown. Way to represent Cecina, Samantha. Last Friday, members of the Spanish Club set up and decorated an altar in the Rotunda in order to celebrate Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead originated and is mostly observed in Mexico, but also in other places, especially by people of Mexican heritage. It is associated with our Catholic celebrations of All Saints Day and All Souls Day, but has a more joyful tone of celebration rather than of mourning. The Cena students and staff members have a chance to join in this celebration. Today and tomorrow, you're invited to place on the altar in the rotunda pictures of or written notes to loved ones who have departed in order to honor their lives. The altar will be taken down on Friday, and you may retrieve your items then. Please consider joining this powerful tradition. My favorite part of Day of the Dead is the beautiful orange flowers. I really like all the food. Wow. Stuco collected 1,132 socks during their recent Socktober drive. Everyone who donated socks during the drive will be allowed to dress out of uniform tomorrow. Here's the list of everyone who donated. to all of you for giving that little extra. Please come to the main office in the morning to get your wristband. All students dressing out are required to have a wristband from Stuco tomorrow. Remember to follow the dress out rules so no rips or holes in jeans and make sure your outfit is school appropriate. Now let's check out the winners of the gift card drawings. Congrats, Crusaders. Please see Miss Ross room during win to claim your prize. Now let's head over to Emily for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Alex. The football team earned a second straight dominant win in their sectional on Friday night. The team shut out Shenandoah 34 to nothing at Beach Grove. It was the team's sixth shutout victory this season. The team is now eight and three in the season. Tomorrow night, the girls' varsity basketball team will open their season at Providence Cristo Rey at 6 p.m. After their big win last Friday, the football team will play in the sectional championship game at Centerville Friday night at 7 p.m. In other sports news, anyone interested in joining the winter cheerleading team should attend tryouts tomorrow from 4 to 5.30 in the gym. That's it for today's sports. Back to Lucy and Alex for more news. Thanks, Emily. Now it's time to see what happened on this day in history.
I love the Sistine Chapel. I'm a huge fan of Michelangelo's work. Yeah, he's my favorite Ninja Turtle. Students, if you struggle with grief, you don't have to continue to struggle alone. A new grief support group is starting up on Wednesday during the win period, and you can be a part of it. Cecina's new social worker, Miss O'Brien, will sponsor the group and lead the sessions in the nursing area in the back part of the main office. The group will meet on Wednesday starting this coming week and will continue most likely through December. Please let your WIN teacher know you'd like to attend the group, and they will let Miss O'Brien know. Cecina will host its annual open house Thursday night. Prospective students and their parents can tour the school and attend a fair where they can learn about the school's academic programs, clubs, and athletics. Those who attend may come at 6 or 7 p.m., depending on what best fits their schedule. For more information, check out cecina.org slash admissions. Now to Heather for a look at our weather. Thanks, Lucy. We had a cool fall day with a high of 52 and partly cloudy skies. Cool nights will continue with a low of 34 degrees. Next few days will be even colder with the highs in the 40s and the low dipping into the upper 20s. So dress warm, Crusaders. Now back to Lucy and Alex for more news. Now let's see who's celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday! Now let's check out our lunch menu for the next couple of days. Tomorrow we'll have a cheeseburger or hamburger with corn. On Wednesday it'll be cheese or beef ravioli with broccoli and garlic toast. Please note that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Today we're starting another new segment called Verse of the Day. Let's check out today's verse from the Bible. That's right, Crusaders. We often take tomorrow for granted, but it's important to remember that we're not promised anything. Instead of focusing on tomorrow, let's appreciate today. That's it for today's news. Stay classy and give that little extra.